Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> you, I mean, they're bright enough. You've probably seen them crawling around your yard lately. Thousands of fuzzy yellow caterpillars are creeping across the valley, crossing roads, falling into pools, and even getting into homes. Fox 10 Stephanie Bennett is on the beat tonight to tell us why they're here and what's going on. Steph? Yeah, John and Christina, some people might think they're cute. Some people might think they're creepy, but they're only here for a short amount of time and they are not dangerous at all. Basically, they come off of the mountains like this one here at South Mountain and then into the valleys. And then basically they bury themselves and turn until they turn into a moth that looks a lot like a hummingbird. The whole mountain looks like it's undulating with yellow as they're coming down and they come really fast. Kelly Athena has been studying these caterpillars in her Ahwatukee neighborhood for years, not only observing them, but rescuing them from harm's way too. And they'll be crossing over to the south side. So I just took a bucket and filled it up with about 100 of them. And then I go across the road and let them go in some of the spiderling or the other bushes that they like. These furry yellow caterpillars will eventually turn into the white lion sphinx moth. Experts with Butterfly Wonderland in Scottsdale say every August they come off the mountains and hibernate before monsoon season ends in the valley. But unlike butterflies that create a cocoon, these guys bury themselves underground, turning into a pupa before transforming. You know, to, to ask that people just give a little bit of patience and kindness for these caterpillars, they're not looking to hang along around very long. They're really just looking to move right through our areas and get on over to their next stage in life. Kelly says these caterpillars are relatively harmless. They won't chew through clothes or food, but love Arizona's natural desert vegetation. But back in the day, they were an edible delicacy. Thomas Hunter, who was the first man to bring cattle to Arizona in 1868, he came over the ridge and he looked down and he saw about 250 Pima women in a line, they were out gathering mesquite beans and putting them in their baskets. And around their necks, they had beautiful necklaces. And as he got closer, he saw that they were wriggling caterpillars. And they'd eat some raw, and then they were taking some back to be roasted. Yeah, I think I will pass on trying them, but I'll take their word for it uh, now. So they're not here for very long, but if you do have them in your backyard, just leave them be. They'll be gone in just a couple of days. If you've got them, don't call an exterminator. But if you see any that have fallen into the pool, just use a net, scoop them up and put them back on some bushes to the side or some vegetation. And if you see them in the street, maybe use some latex gloves to pick them up and move them along. They do emit sometimes a little bit of a green goo and their hairs can get pretty much everywhere. In Ahwatukee, Stephanie Bennett, Fox 10 News.